Hello, hello everyone. Are you ready to do a quick little Easter themed painting with me? This one only takes about 10 minutes, give or take drying time. And if that's all you've got, I will not waste your time. We're going to jump right in. First up, here's what I'm using. I've got links in the description, but use whatever you've got at home. So I'm using the size eight round brush from Hobby Lobby. The paints are the metallic watercolor set also from Hobby Lobby. I've got my two water cups here, my calligraphy pen, my painter's tape, and I'm also using this watercolor sketchbook. And don't forget that paper towel. So first up, let's tape this off here so we get those nice clean edge lines. So I'm activating my paints with this little spray bottle. And first we're starting with wet on wet for the sunrise, which means you lay down a decent amount of water and then add your paint. So I'm starting with this bright pink on top, blending to this orange gold, and then finishing with a yellow gold. Now, if you don't have metallic paints, any pink, orange, or yellow combo is totally fine. Now, I don't want this to be straight layers of rainbow colors, so I am scattering these in a bit here and there to get some of that more natural sunrise variation. And now while that dries a bit, we're going to head on down here, the same wet on wet technique, but this time with this green followed by this deep blue. Now you notice I'm leaving a space in between the sunrise and the ground. I don't want the sky and the ground running into each other here. All right, now it's time to dab up some of that excess water. So if you notice pooling, use your brush or a paper towel to lightly dab up that extra water in both the sky and the ground. And now we're gonna take that paper towel and dab a bit more aggressively at the sky to add even more variation and the illusion of some clouds. If you notice it's a bit too dry already, just wet your paper towel a little bit and dab away. Okay, so once this layer is dry, it is time to start on that empty tomb. So for this, we just take the black and mix with some water to make it a bit more of a deep gray. We start to paint an organic rock-like shape with an arched opening, no perfection here, and that extends across the page. Next, we dab again with a paper towel to add a bit of dimension to the color on that tomb. And once that's dry, we can go in with a light gray blue to fill in the arch. And then we take some deep black, very little water here, and paint in that rolled away stone. So I am spending a bit more time here along the edges to add dimension and make sure it stands out against the tomb itself. Finally, once everything is dry, we go in with that calligraphy pen. So I like to start with the script word since that's the most prominent thing on the page. So the main thing here is to keep those upstrokes thin and the downstrokes thicker. Then we add the he is and the indeed with those basic block letters. And we're finished, look at that shine. Now, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't wanna miss more quick and easy paint with me tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe. And if you want even more painting, check out this video next.